Hey guys, video service information here. Today we're working on a 2014 GMC Terrain. The vehicle's got around 87,000 miles on it. The vehicle was towed in and had reduced engine power. Scanned it for diagnostic codes and we had a P0011 camshaft position A over advance. Then we had a P0014 which is a camshaft position B over advance. Then we had a P0016 camshaft crankshaft correlation. Then we had a P0017 exhaust camshaft position not plausible. With the engine running, you could hear the time and chain slapping the, the uh, back side of the valve cover. So when I had got the valve cover removed and we found excessive wear on the time and chain, you can see in this area here where it's all wore, this chain is stretched pretty good too. Had a lot of wear on the cam phaser teeth. Cylinder head here, you can see how there's a lot of sludge and oil varnish build up here in the valley of the cylinder head. Going to the side of the engine. You can see the balance shaft gears are wore, uh, get excessive oil varnish build up. Backside, backside of the valve cover has oil varnish and sludge build up. Looking at the pistons. You can see how we have a lot of sludge and varnish in the ring lands. You can see the carbon and sludge build up here on in the ring lands. Got a lot of sludge and varnish build up into the oil control rings. So I can clearly see this thing has been consuming oil for a while. Um, most of the time you can get away with pistons and rings that I've seen on these 2.4s. Uh, usually the crankshaft is okay on them. No scoring or rod bearing wear. But on this particular one here, um, we do have some excessive cylinder wear. You can see how the cross hatch is polished in and the metal is actually starting to delaminate on the cylinder wall. This is cylinder four here. Go over to cylinder three. Same thing, you can see some scoring and the cross hatch is polished out in this area. So it does, some, sometimes when we get excessive uh, carbon built up on the piston or ring, and the carbon is extremely hard and it will actually score the cylinder wall. Um, usually these 2.4s are pretty rugged. Uh, never really seen too many of them where it chews the cylinder walls up. Just a few. Most of the time you can get away, like I said, with pistons and rings. But this one here, we're going to have to recommend a new engine. Because the block is uh, non-reusable. Unfortunately, this is another victim of uh, extended oil change intervals. Um, looking back on the history on this one, oil changes were done anywhere from 7,500 miles to 10,000 miles between oil changes. So we got, you know, premature wear, um, carbon sludge buildup inside the engine. Re GM recommends reflashing the PCM to 7,500 miles, so it'll kick the oil change light on. But I believe that's still too much on these engines. Um, I always like to recommend anywhere from 3,000 miles with conventional oil to 4,000 miles and fully synthetic. GM does have special policies on pistons and rings, and I'll put a link in the description below 
with the TSB attached so you guys can see um, different ear ranges on where they cover. GM will cover piston and ring replacement. So just check it with your local dealer and look at the TSB to see if your vehicle falls into that criteria. Hey, thanks for watching, guys, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button so you'll get notified every time I put a new video up. Have a nice day.